Oh, he just went low. He's in his head. He's in his head. He's, He's open. His head wide open. Cracked open in the face. Diddy Kong's pointing in the background like, oh my god, he was a rob the entire time. It's a nice little twist. I like it. Um, so let's play with uh, Samus, Diddy, and yeah, all of them Why not? So yeah, so you'll notice that it's a bit of a different yeah, Rob is one of my better characters in this game. It's really cool to play as Rob in this. After playing him in, in Mario Kart DS, I thought at the time, uh, since I didn't know about the, the Rob back in the day with the NES, I was like, oh, he's a really cool and futuristic Mario Kart character. So playing as him again... Man, I killed myself. Though Rob is very light, we'll say that. He's not the lightest character in the game, but he's definitely one of quite a few that are very light in this game. I think we're at like the last little bit of this uh, level as well. So it's like, why? Fucking fan. <laughs> oh, there I go. <laughs> there I go again. Like again, I don't know what that sound effect is. <laughs> For the star KO. I've never been able to work it out. See, I don't know why that sticks to just, oh yeah, I'm going to spike in the ground and launch it like 150%. Fuck off. Oh yeah, two arm anks, because that's fair. Out one. That orb also does a lot of damage. Nice. 
the only thing I don't like about the I'm 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 good that I'm in the middle of this thing because holy shit. I was really going really well of being stuck in the middle of those two things, but Again, it's a character that I'm not particularly used to, and I've fucking gotten KO'd, and now I'm gonna do the whole thing again. The thing that I don't like is that when you get right to the end of a gauntlet, and then you fucking get KO'd. So yeah, so even like Rob has like the gyromite and all that type of stuff in his moveset, and it's fucking awesome. I love that nice attention to uh, Rob's history. Oh, I never realized that they'd shoot up with the, with the rifles before. So these are gonna be extra long episodes too, unless this because I don't think this level carries on after this. I think mean, I'm pretty sure this is the last of it. I meant to dodge while on the ground. Yeah, you can bomb jump in this game for what it's worth. Yeah, these things, I think they, I don't think you can take them out on the first phase. I think they have to be on the, uh, the third phase of, uh, unless they off screen themselves, that, that'd be the only time that I think that it would actually go on. Take out the rifle ones. The sword ones are nowhere near as bad. Ooh, actually, I'll take the. Uh... See, that orb comes through and it does a hell of a lot of damage. I cannot catch a break by getting these hands. Star actually would be very good right now. Not one. There we go. <laughs> Taunt at the end. <laughs> So many subspace bombs in the one area. And they kind of connect to the consciousness between all the robs here, which I think is kind of cool. <laughs> and <laughs> Cat Vagan's like, let's move out. So let's uh, use Captain Falcon, Pikachu, Donkey Kong, and Rob. <laughs> Rob's like, no. <laughs> Keep forgetting this is the, the the level just keeps on going. This is actually, I will say, it's probably the second second longest level in the entire game. Uh, in in I'd say in the entire game, the entire adventure mode. It just feels like it keeps on going, though it's not the longest, and you would think, what? It's like, there's so many things going on with this level, why is it not the longest? Well, the last level in the game is the longest, and there's a reason that people know about it a lot. Uh, in this game in particular.
So yeah, so we have the Meta Ridley thing playing. Just crouching on a knife because I know that. And then that opens up. Now, be careful with these platforms. They will bring you right up and uh, will actually crush you. The ceiling will actually crush you despite there being flames. And these bombs decide to come out of nowhere and blow you up for whatever reason. And then we have platforms that just stay there. But yeah, bombs can do a lot of damage when they want to. But yeah, Meta Ridley theme. Do like this one. It's not as good as the normal Ridley theme, like the, the normal Ridley remix in this game in particular. I don't think it's bad. I just think it's not as good as I, I fell in the in the one spot that I fell off screen. It was one spot that I could fall off, and I did. But yeah, we have two heart containers, and a lot of people are like, oh, I wonder why we have two heart containers. Well, if they fall down here. This is fucking cool, too. <laughs> Cat fucking just so cool in this game, man. So good. I love it. The Falcon Flyer flies away. And oh, we have Meta Ridley. So yeah, so Ridley's back. <laughs> uh, so who was next? Yeah, Captain Falcon. Uh, Rob. Diddy and Samus. So yeah, so we'll use Samus for the last leg. Because uh, we have another boss fight. Yeah, so when we thought it was all over with the gauntlet, now we have a boss fight coming up too. So thankfully between a lot of these missions we have like characters being revolved around, so we kind of get our lives back. And we have a timer, so yeah, so we don't take out Meta Ridley uh, in the allotted time. We lose. I don't know why there's a timer, but... Um, We just do. Yeah, go to the careful, gotta jump at the right time for that one. And I'm dead? No, nope. apparently not. Here comes Ridley. So apparently you can fight yeah, okay, I was gonna say. You can fight Ridley off. I've never been able to do it. That's actually the first time I've ever been able to do that with that move in particular. So yeah, so what he does is that he, he, he grabs on the back of the Falcon Flyer and stops you from flying. And then while we get out, and there's this huge subspace circle. Meanwhile, we have all the gang joining together. We have Rob join the team. Now we have the entrance to subspace, and this is basically going towards the end game now. It's not a very long adventure mode, I will say that, but you have this huge fortress subspace weapon. It creates normal subspace, like a subspace bomb type area for some reason. I mean, it looks like they have all these buildings and stuff. It's fucking cool as hell. Great design, I love it. 
Ganondorf's like, oh, that thing again. And it has normal weapons too. So it goes right through the battleship Halberd and uh, basically dies. So in this universe, the battleship Halberd actually blows up. <laughs> And they're like, fuck, <laughs> it was a trap. <laughs> so yeah, so we have the R-Wing, the Falcon Flyer, Samus's gunship, and the uh, SS Dolphin. And meanwhile, a, 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 a new item that appeared in this game, the Dragoon, comes out of nowhere. I think that was a weapon that was, that was a uh, vehicle that was used in Kirby Air Ride. I believe is the Dragoon pieces. But it's like one of the only times that a, a weapon actually shows up. And meanwhile the SS Dolphin is having problems, which uh, if you if you've played Pikmin, you'll know that it does that a lot. <laughs> but yeah, we blew up that big subspace gun. And meanwhile Mr. Game watches in the background. <laughs> And now we're in subspace, so now we can pick from any of the characters on our team so far. So we'll pick Mr. Game Watch first because we have not played as him yet. Uh, now, after that, pick Mario. Just use the little Rob. Uh, Zelda, because we haven't used her a lot. And uh, Kirby. So yeah, so now we're in subspace, and I love this track. It's another good track that I like. I think this is one of the better original. I think this is actually probably one of the best original tracks for this game, for the adventure mode just specifically. Now, for some reason, in every other Smash game after this, it's always the version three theme that gets uh, added to the uh, music for some reason in the soundtrack on some of the stages that you can play on. Whereas you don't be out, you're not able to play this track or the version two theme, which I actually prefer this of the three. I actually prefer this of the three themes. This is the best one because it's so cosmic and I love subspace. I love the design of the stage as well. They go all out with this thing, and it's fantastic. I love it. So yeah, Mr. Game & Watch, another character that I really, really love. I think he's definitely a lot better than he was in Melee. Which I think was really fucking strange, because he was kind of like one of those... <laughs> one of those characters that just came out of nowhere. So yeah, so you can see the spawners in the background, I just kind of noticed that you, it kind of gets darker when uh, it's close to being demolished and destroyed. But yeah, so many of these moves, there's so many fucking weird moves and all that type of stuff from the uh, Game Watch games. And I mean, it was like that in Melee as well, but uh, it's just one of those things that I just love this character because it's just so off the wall. It's one of those characters that I'm just like, what? <laughs> but I love the design of Subspace. I, I think that the, the growing black hole in the background, it's fantastic. I just... Uh, Up, goodbye, Game of Watch, and into the stratosphere. <laughs> oh, fire punch. Oh, that nearly launched me. I nearly died. Yeah, 
That's one thing you can do is the is that with Mario's final uh, with Mario's forward smash that you can toss grief right around. That nearly killed me again. I was gonna say, how much health has he still got left? He only had like this little small spark. I love the little sparks as well that go off the stage. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Now we have Zelda, who actually is very deceptive. <laughs> Another character that has a lot of power. Though the tier list will say that she's not that great. Um, in this game in particular. I don't know why she's considered not to be that great, because it's just like... I'm not particularly right up in the, uh... Oh yeah, and don't, don't, uh, be wary that it does disappear, but it doesn't really matter. It's still, uh, there's, there's no hole in the middle there. And meanwhile, Ganondorf betrays Bowser. Which is not really a surprise when, uh, we're talking about Ganondorf here. Yeah, Ganondorf sees Master Hand. Master Hand is in subspace. But something's wrong. He's not in control right now. In control by something else. Entirely. Taboo. So yeah, as you can tell, uh, Ganondorf were turned into a trophy there. <laughs> Mask hand gets absolutely mad. But I think it's one of the only times we see like Master Hand, like other than having the normal glove as we usually do, um, you actually see the the blood and stuff on the glove. It's like one of the only times we ever see it. And it's really fucking strange, but it's really fucking cool as well. It's a nice little detail that we just don't see very often. And Taboo takes everybody out. Like, everybody. So now Taboo forms little orbs around him. Which we kind of see in the intro as well. But it leads to probably, and actually is, the biggest level in the entire adventure mode. Oh, we got Marx's theme as well. The Marx battle theme. So, um. level is. We can go one more. Okay, so now we go into subspace. It's like, oh, who have we got left, though? Well, if you remember, way back in the plot, we have those little badge things, right? So, Luigi and Ness are alive. So, King DDD kind of knew that the subspace plot was happening and uh, devised a plan to um, make sure that those guys lived on uh, while we went into the subspace. So uh, now we have characters that we haven't really played again, played as apart from Ness. So we're going to play as Luigi. I didn't even press the A button twice then, I just pressed it once. But yeah, now we have an extra little caveat here. since. Our team got take got taken right out. We have to grab all of them again. Thankfully I have Luigi, which is my best character in this game. Now, why he's not my best character in future uh, in future games is the way that they kind of balance him out. So now we gotta get all these trophies all over again. So the first one we get is Samus. 
And unfortunately, this is an instance where I've done that twice now. Uh, this could be an instance where you can actually lose characters. I think you can replay these levels though, so if you do miss a trophy on the way, um, you will be able to grab that character as well um, by going back to that level. But whoever you have at the end, um, you will be able to use. If there is a character that you miss, you cannot use that character. So say if you miss, like, Peach, for example, miss the Peach trophy, uh, you won't be able to play as Peach uh, in the final levels. Now, I think it actually affects it in the, in the uh, ending as well. It's like one of the ending screens, I think, before the credits, I think it also affects that as well. So, yeah, so we got Pit and Falco. Oh, well, we want to save Lucas. So yeah, like I said before, Ness I don't prefer, I prefer Lucas, but Ness is still a pretty good character. Though he is a lot better in future games, we'll say that much. So now we have disappearing, reappearing platforms, which I think is cool design. I think I think that is really cool. So yeah, so now we have Donkey Kong, and I love that they play the sound effect of um, the one that they use in the cutscenes to um, uncover people. Okay, this one in particular we can lose by accident, and this is something that, um, yeah, especially with Ness's recovery, it's not a great room. Yeah, so if you hit that, that uh, explosive block too early, and don't go back to, to get uh, Pikachu, um, let's see, you can actually miss Ike here. So if you do not go down here, you will not get Ike. And I remember that because I think on my first or second playthrough, because I've played Subspace a couple of times, not really any higher than, uh, than normal, uh, than normal difficulty. But, uh, I missed Ike one of the times. I'm like, why can I not use Ike? And it's because I didn't get him back. So there's a door here. Do I go back? Yeah, I go back, okay. I thought this was to go back. I wasn't sure. But yeah, I love the subspace levels. I think they're fantastic. But yeah, Luigi. Uh, got rebalanced in the future games, so like his little stutter step um, is in the game. Oh, Muff, who's a particular character I don't use, but oh, nearly got taken out. I just seen the subspace of the bloody smart bomb, and I fucking freaked the fuck out. Thankfully, we have fire, but. All the uh, all the characters that we do have for this level um, do have projectiles, so we can uh, we can throw a little bomb or two, or a fireball, or what'll do, or or PK fire. I usually particularly jump over those, not uh, walk on them, because they are. Uh, Damn it. So yeah, I think that's, a, that's another instance where we can miss Game Watch, if we're not careful. So 
So it's actually better to have King D to D in this in this in, uh, little area. But yeah, we have all the enemies. So all the enemies that we fought before uh, will be in this subspace area. So like the puppets, all of them, the whole lot. That's actually a really cool trophy. I do like that one. Oh, I actually went over the platforms that time. So yeah, so there is actually a... Boom. <laughs> I have not done well with Luigi so far tonight. <laughs> Though I think like King DDD is actually probably the better character for that spot. So yeah, so we had uh, Diddy, uh, uh, Diddy, and uh, Captain Falcon. So yeah, so this is version 2 theme. Uh, I do like this one, it's not my favourite. I do like it, it's not fantastic. And Mario, another character that you can't really miss. I mean, you can, but it's not one of those ones that's very obvious. I nearly, like, saved myself there. So yeah, so now we have Bowser. Bowser versus D2D. &D. And we have the Giga Bowser theme playing in the background. Which is kind of cool. I do like that. But yeah, King D2D, not, not, a, uh, not a particular character I usually use, but um, if I have to, I will. And... Uh, So yeah, so we have the Waddle D throw uh, in this game, so it will be a uh, Gordo toss instead uh, in future games from Smash 4 onwards, which I actually do prefer. I do like the idea of like, throwing Waddle Dees because you have Waddle Dees, Waddle Doos, and then the occasional Gordo, and it's like a little balancing thing. It's like, oh, you gotta keep throwing wa uh, Waddle Dees out because uh, if you don't, uh, you won't get the Gordos. Nice down smash. That only just killed me too. Oh, where the fucking hell did the shell go? It's like I spawned and then the shell fucking disappeared. But yeah. It's like we kind of replay this. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, it's just gonna be Bowser again. And he's like, what did you do that for? Bowser and King DDD join our team. So now it's to see that all the team's gone. <laughs> so now we get a little bit of a list back. I don't think we've missed everybody so far. I might just go back uh, when I'm off screen to grab those characters just to see if I've missed any. And it looks like I haven't because it's got the crown there, but I'll go back anyway and I'll check to make sure. But uh, yeah, we're just going to leave it at that. So I think I've filmed like three episodes today, which holy fuck. That's pretty fucking good. Pretty happy with that. So uh, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching these episodes of Subspace Emissary. We'll be going back into subspace uh, next episode, which is going to be great. Might actually be really close to actually finishing the game. 
Uh, I think we've got one or two more levels before the big level um, comes up, so we'll be getting that pretty shortly. Won't be that long. So, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, these episodes of Subspress in Missouri via uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl on the Nintendo Wii. This has been Mario Man 10,100. You guys have a great day and night, and of course, take care.